So now we can look at the third area of damage on the model and this area of damage sits down here which is actually on the ischial tuberosity on the left hand side just beneath the wound we looked at first, sacral wound here and here it is in close up and again large circular kind of wound. This damage has occurred because of the pressure between the uh, bone again and the external surfaces and what we can see in this wound bed, this is a much paler looking wound bed, it's not so well vascularised. Remember there's this little sinus tracking through here to the larger wound above and we've also got here some areas of black necrotic tissue that unlike the big S scar here are only in part of the wound but nevertheless they will slow down healing, they do need to lift away to allow the new skin beneath to come through. And in the centre of the wound here is a large area of sloughy tissue, a uh, byproduct there of inflammatory process, as I said before, um, and sometimes will slow healing down if there's a significant amount. This isn't a huge amount in the wound bed and would expect that to lift away naturally with the right dressings and the right care. What's important here, I think, are the edges. Again, if you were doing this with a patient, you would have clean, sterile gloved hands, but Fortunately, George doesn't mind me doing this. And what we can see is some quite hard, rolled edges. Wounds only heal when the new skin can develop from the base of the wound up and when skin can come from the edge of the wound, from the what we call the wound margins here, across a nice, healthy new surface. And when these edges are rolled down in the way that they are in this wound, it's very difficult for any new cells to move out across a healthy new wound surface. And in the case of all three of these wounds, because they're large cavities, in fact, no healing, no final healing can take place until the tissue loss has been replaced by good healthy granulation tissue and the surface of the wounds are then level with the surrounding skin. The new skin can then grow across the top and complete the wound healing and re-establish, very importantly, the skin integrity.